this video come back tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow, and tomorrow. we are at epcot it's looking busy it is looking busy we are meeting up with some family friends like we we're really close with them they are my aunt's best friend and her daughter and her daughter um you guys know how close my family is and they come to all different events of our family so we're super excited to see them we haven't seen them in a while Oh, we gotta talk about yeah. your ride. Let's park first. All right, so this morning, I had a good run, but a bad training run, I guess is that one way of putting it? Um. Like I had a good run. Right, maybe But it was just... going downhill. Right. I was supposed to run four hours today, so I was eyeing somewhere around 20, 22 to 24 over, miles. Yeah, over 20 miles. Over 20 miles was like my goal. Woke up a little later, but still, it's so cold right now in Florida. Like comparatively to, to the rest how, of the year, how it's usually that um, I knew I was it was fine me waking up like 30, 40 minutes later than I wanted. Yeah. Go off for my run, and I, if you listen to my running rambles, you know that I hate loops, and I usually go one way out, one way in. But today I was like, you know what? I don't feel like running on the side of the crazy streets all the way to like Universal and back to do such a long run. I'm gonna do my six mile loop that I do. I'm gonna do that four times because it takes about an hour or less than an hour to do it once. So I go to do the run, feeling good, feeling good. It's chilly, feel good, feeling good. Don't stop and do water and goo when I should have in my, my first stop. And I was like, I wonder if I'm gonna regret that later, I don't know. Second loop, I stop, I feel good. Third loop out, I get out on Park Avenue and like I just didn't feel good. Kind of like my stomach started hurting. And I just felt like I wasn't sweating super bad, but then I started sweating really bad. Like, like a lot, I was losing a lot like, of salt. I almost like compared to like it shutting down. Like the rest of your run was great, and then it was just like you hit a brick wall, and like your body was just like, nope. And like I was talking about it with Sarah, and then I was texting my buddy Steve, and we both we were all saying the same thing. Like it just comes with like experience. Like I knew that my run was gonna go downhill, and that I should just stop now rather than continue pushing it. Yeah. To be then, healthy. Yeah. So I did do 16 miles, which is incredible. Right, I got, still awesome. According to my Strava really app, good. I did my second fastest half marathon. And I did Me 201. and Eve came and picked him up. I surprised him with even the car. <laughs> she, was she came with like a towel and my body armor so I could re-electrolyte. I was like covered in salt on yeah. my, all over oh my, my body. Um, so I'm like, I'm, t I'm sore, I'm yeah. tired. Yeah. But I did do, it was a 920 pace for 16 miles. A little over two and a half hours. So like, it was a great run. I ran a 201 half marathon in that 16 miles, but it wasn't what I was supposed to run, but that's okay. But it's still good. I'm yeah. being healthier and safer. We're learning. Yeah. And like, that sort of thing happens, you know yeah. what I mean? And now. Now we're gonna go in Epcot. Maybe now, we'll go to the DVC. Now Disney's park stuff. You're all set. This is like a legit actual sign. It's metal with different slated pieces. The so more it's just a printed piece. The more legit the sign, the more the longer, long. The longer this will be here, which makes me nervous. Here. But it'll be worth it. Yeah. And there's another one. But you know what? There's so much construction going on. Maybe they could just take this whole piece yeah. and put that on a different wall. So maybe our logic isn't right because these all you can unscrew this. We should bring us a Phillips head and lo loosen them. <laughs> Yeah, this one's like, on the people of Epcot. It'd be so funny. We should do that and stand as far away and watch it happen. So there's a development of more that we can eat at the festival. Really? Which I I follow two different vegan accounts on Instagram and I forget which one posted it. So I will put the link to both in the description. But some of the sides are vegan or like the vegetable that go on top of a meat or something that goes on top of noodles or something so what you do is you just order it and then when you go to the window you say no meat 
double rice, no meat, double. So you get a bigger portion. And um, I screenshotted them, so I, I don't think we'll be getting anything today just because we just ate and we're meeting up um, with our family friends. But I hope that we'll be able to get them before the festival's over and I screenshotted them and saved them. So then we can have a new experience and not just the same stuff over and over again. <laughs> Oh, oh, with the essence of Norway oozing from the doorway and seeing this beautifulness. Yeah. If this doesn't get you in the Christmas spirit, I don't know if we could be friends. Um, I just put the camera away, but I had to pull back out because look, the, de the decoration continues all the way back there. Yeah, guess what we're going to in just over two weeks? Chris Kindlemark. Yes, we cannot miss it. It's literally the second most important thing next to going to the wedding. For real. It's literally going You're to Christina Market. Because it's at I'm still mad at us for not going last year. Oh my gosh. It's so soon. Oh, it's just flying by. Frozen two dresses. I'm having, feeling real nostalgic for my Disney store days because I worked at Disney store back when that dress over there, the Disney, the frozen <laughs> one came out and it was like Cabbage Patch Kids 90s era style. Literally would have family members waiting at the mall at like 6 a.m. when the semi truck would pull up. <laughs> and I'd have to do raffles about just sizes, not even like you get to pick. Because there wouldn't just, be enough for everybody. No, and they, people would just buy a size just to buy it and try to sell it on or exchange it. So. Ready? Let's go! I gotten so lucky today with like the entertainment as we stroll around the world showcase I think it's just because like we truly like come here so late during the week that like all of this stuff is over by the time we get it here truly so is. when we're here on the weekends we're like oh my god it's a whole new world <laughs> and I love those guys those are different guys than the, usually yeah they're. well you know like they have like certain amount of time and yeah I think when it Morocco is back right I, it's it's always strange when it's like those aren't international college program cast members. Those are like contracted performers from other countries that are on certain visas. So like those visas only last so long, have certain rules. Right. We said it but was we love chilly, them all. Um, but it's not chilly anymore. The, the sun sun's is beat. like hot, but it's nice because it's not humid. I still feel good, but I wore pants. Questioning if that was a bad or good choice. Right now I'm still saying it's a good choice. But we'll see. Only time will tell. All right, we're not stopping in, in the Piazza, but there is a fun little show going on over in the Italy Pavilion. He's got quite the crowd. He does. I see some flying little soccer balls, I think. <laughs> but we, we got to get to make our way to Morocco to meet our friends. How's that jacket? Fine. I did have a long sleeve, like jean, whoa, jean shirt on. And I was like, this is probably not a good idea. But um, I do have my Christmas Chicago pin that my friend Lauren made. If you guys are interested in flair like this, I'll put her um, shop below. It's called Arts and Stripes. She's the best. She is the best. Quick update. Sarah ran to the washroom. Always go to America on a busy weekend or busy day at Epcot because everybody forgets there's a massive set of bathrooms back here. Also, shade, seats, and two different sets of water fountains. But this. Peter Ramble interruption comes to you for the fact that I signed up for Disney Plus yesterday finally. So it starts, in, I think it starts on, so today's Sunday, I think it starts Tuesday, November 12th. Um, so we will have Disney Plus. Big surprise there, but we just hadn't signed up yet. We are waiting to see what kind of deals there were and whatnot. Um, I'm super pumped because I want to see that Noel movie like day one. I think that might be the first thing we watch. 
is that Noel movie. I think it's going streaming. Either way, I'm excited to put a comment down below if you're getting Disney Plus and if you are, what you're gonna watch first. There's probably gonna be a lot of Mandalorian fans and a lot of um, just classic Disney movies. But I wanna know from you guys what you're gonna watch first on Disney Plus. Okay, so Emily is right here, my little friend. She is going to pick a pearl. One right there. In front of you? This one? Yes. Alright, this is Sam, Lee, Iti, Perfect, Kanka, Ape, Me, I, the pearl. Oh, you pull the pearl. Beautiful, beautiful pearl. What what is this? What color is this? What is this? White white? No, blue. Silver blue. Color. This is our realest color. Good job, princess. We are in Germany now. They are gonna get Werther's caramel goodies. I'm so excited, so jealous. Look at this apple, and Emily changed into her Elsa outfit. <laughs> are you having fun? Yeah. If the weather wasn't the most beautiful weather in Florida all week, it's been day. The thing that's been blowing my mind is Florida has beautiful times like this, but usually they last a day. Yeah. Maybe two. It's been like four days of this and it's gonna continue for the next like three. Right. It's gonna be great. But we are skipping on over to the DVC lounge because we are on our way out. But just a little quick just stop. Just a little by. stop, say Drink hey. Snack on the way maybe out. grab a coffee. Big shout out to Emily and the family for letting us come crash just for a few hours. Yeah. It was just like a we Sarah and I were just talking, it was just like a little taste of home. Yeah. Um we used to celebrate the Southside Irish parade with them for a few years. Yeah, I like their family storefront. And then they always come to our family's house for the 4th of July. Mm -hmm. oh. So even though they're not, they're family friends, but they're very close family friends. Yeah. Like that was Sarah's aunt's, like one of her very best, best friends. Best friends since she was little, so. And Emily, you said really Emily cool. used to babysit you? Not Emily. No, Kristen. Kristen used to babysit you when you were yeah, little? Yeah, she babysat us a handful of times. So. so that's pretty cool. A little piece of Chicago. Yeah. And I, I said Chicago at one point, and Emily was like, I live in Chicago. <laughs> I was like, you do. I used to. She she did say too, she was like, Mom, do you like Florida or Chicago better? Maybe we should just stay. And she got all jazzed when we told her she was going to be in the vlog for the pearls. Yeah. yeah she was cute. Yeah. It's delicious. We're about to head out, but I had to show how beautiful this place looks at this like twilight as the sun. Well, we've been here at this time, but yeah, not at this time of year. It feels like glowy. Yeah, it's gorgeous. I feel like we're having a special event. We got Christmas music. We got Christmas Sarah. We got a very anticipating wish of things falling, doggy. Well, I give her uh, peppers. I had this right here. This is called almond nog. Um, it's not eggnog. It's almond nog from Aldi. What do you think of it, Sarah? It's not as thick, which I appreciate. I um, think it's got just the right amount of, of nog flavor, but I think yeah. for people who don't drink almond milk, they would hate it because um, almond milk is definitely a different kind of flavor. But like, I'm not an eggnog person, and so like it being less eggnogish is good. So there's making some delicious fajita looking stuffs to yeah, top some tostadas. So this is probably our like most consistent tostada compilation. So this is just um, peppers and onions and I threw some salsa in there too. Oh, it's uh, getting all foggy again like yesterday. Um, heated up like fajitas. <laughs> Am I making a YouTube channel? Yeah. Sarah's contemplating making a uh, cooking YouTube channel. Like, a, like go once a week. Flow or something. relaxed. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, back to the food. Then these are refried beans with Valentina hot sauce. And then 
Well, I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you a made one. But then I also just chopped up avocado, put lime juice, salt, and garlic, and then tomatoes. You can either put the avocado on top of the tostada or on top of the tomato. And there are the tostadas. Okay, so here is the, the final product. I also put um, hot sauce on top. I've been loving this green dragon hot sauce from Trader Joe's. And then I put the avocados on top of it too. How are we already in double digits of November? Okay. True wisdom lies in gathering the precious things out of each day as it goes by. E.S. The precious things each day are what we put in the walk. I fell asleep on the couch again. I worked. But I worked too. Yeah, we both worked. I worked and then I fell asleep. It's okay. And then when I was feeling like, I said, let's go to bed. So we're going to bed at 11 o'clock. Yeah. So it's pretty early. I have another appointment tomorrow to check my HCG levels. Um, so we gotta get up early. I have five boxes of candy canes I'm bringing to the office. So, I got that going for us. <laughs> it's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>